me and where you been, Nicole? <laughs> I'm still here, or I should say I'm back here. I uh, took a little trip. I found a, a really good fair. I wasn't even looking. Like, a fair fell into my lap, and so I took it as a sign that God wanted me to go to Mexico. <laughs> and I went. And I had a really, really good time. Um, I took some pictures. I took some videos. I, I really, I just took off, basically. Just, just, I told my reps. I told, like, I told my reps. I told my parents. And I told, like, two friends that I knew would be looking for me and worried about me. And then I got on a plane and I was gone, honey. And I had a great time in Puerto Vallarta. It was, it was... It was really, really nice. And if you ever decide to go, hit me up. I'll let you know like the places that I recommend. And uh, I didn't do a lot of activities. I didn't do, did I do any tours? I didn't do any tours at all. It was just, I needed to get out of here for a bit and clear my head. I intended to do some writing that did not happen. <laughs> I wrote two sentences, exactly two sentences. I said, ah, okay, well. That ain't happening. It was nice to have a change of scenery. Just be, I went alone. So just be, be alone with myself, taking in the sights, um, d doing things to the beat of my own drum. I need to do that sometimes. I, I can't imagine not doing it. Maybe it's just my being, being an introvert. I, I, I need to do that. Being around people all the time, too much, other people's thoughts, constantly bombarded, especially now with, you heard my phone over there, didn't you? With the, with the phones and the social media, the internet, and blah, 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 blah. So it's like an old lady, get off my lawn, get out of my head. So I just need, need a little bit of a, a break from time to time. What else? I came back. I, I left so quickly. <laughs> I don't know what I what I just thought I saw. It was just nothing. Uh, I thought I saw somebody in the kitchen. I, I left so quickly, uh, and I, I like to deep clean, like clean everything and organize and stuff before I leave. That did not happen this time. So I came back and I walked through the door, and I was just like, "Oh my God, who lives here?" I got back and I had five auditions last week, commercial and voiceover. And then I've been cleaning. A friend of mine invited me to a wine tasting and I went and it was a wine drinking, honey. Luckily there was some food there. <laughs> so, so uh, you know, we, nobody was hitting the road drunk or anything like that. And I joined a wine club and I, I never thought I would join, <laughs> join a wine club. I'm like, am I the kind of person that joins a wine club? Is that like she, she? One of my sisters is a, a member of a wine club in, uh, the Chicago suburbs where she lives. Uh, so we've texted a little bit about that and, and it, what to expect or whatever. But I, I do want to learn about wines. I don't want to be a wine snob because honestly, I tasted some expensive wines that, that were not great. It, the things are not necessarily good because you paid more money for them. Um, it just means that you... <laughs> You might have paid more money than it was actually actually worth. I don't know. I've had high-end wines and champagnes that that I liked, some I didn't like, and I've had cheap wines that that I liked. Um, and also, there's an element of like once you've leveled up, there's some things you can't go back to. Like I will never go back to Old English 800. That used to be my drink in college. That. MD2020, Boone's Farm. Yeah, that's gone. I don't ever want any of that ever again. But I'm not mad at Two Buck Chuck from Trader Joe's. We'll see if that changes. We'll see if my taste buds change. But this wine club, they have like an opportunity. It's a, it's a multi-level marketing thing and I've done multi-level marketing before. I'm not good at it because I don't sell. The, I, I I don't like asking people for money for for stuff like I don't want to have like I told you I'm an introvert I don't want to be scheduling parties and, and that kind of thing but I'm like this could be kind of cool if I get to the point where I know enough about wine to talk intelligently about it uh we'll 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 see what happens I don't know because 
who don't like a wine tasting? You know, my mama don't like a wine tasting because she doesn't drink at all. But like everybody else I know would like a wine tasting. So I'm I'm in the gym. Uh, I've had too much coffee today. So I stayed up until about 4.40 this morning for no real reason. I'm a night owl, but that was ridiculous. And it was to the point where I was like, oh my goodness, I don't know what time the sun comes up, but I need to go to bed. So, <laughs> so I made myself get in the bed. I went to sleep and my alarm was set for nine. At nine o'clock, I hit that alarm clock. I, just, I didn't get up at nine. I got up at about 11.20 and then I was like, oh wait, I work out with my trainer today. What time? I don't remember what time. And I look at my phone and it's like, you work out with her at 12.30. Oh no. So jump up, get my shower, get some clothing on and uh, I don't have time to feed myself, but I can't work out on an empty stomach because um, I, I get lightheaded things. I passed out before. This has been years ago, working out on an empty stomach. So I don't do it. I have to have something in my stomach. I'm like, okay, I'll stop at Starbucks. I'll pick up uh, my usual little decaf coffee and and something else. Maybe a, um, those little bantam bagels they have. Little, little bagels filled with cream cheese. I drive past Starbucks. The line to the drive-thru is out into the street. So I ain't going to Starbucks because I got like... 25 minutes to get to the gym and the gym is about 10 to 15 minutes away ain't got time for that as i'm driving i'm thinking okay where where can i go now like i have to eat something before i work out or this is like a waste of time and money then i, I think about it i'm like i don't remember putting deodorant on this morning <laughs> this morning after my shower it just popped into my head Oh, so now I got to go buy deodorant because I'm not going, I, I'm going to not going to the gym and working out without deodorant on. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just not, I ain't that girl. I drive past the 7-Eleven. Oh, okay. Let me swing in there. I went to 7-Eleven. I'm like, okay, there's the deodorant. I bought some deodorant that, that I've never even used before. It's a brand name. I don't want to say what the brand is. I've never used it. I'm like, okay, you know, it's deodorant. How bad can it be? And I figure, oh, while I'm in here, I can grab something to eat. Keep in mind that I'm rushing. So I'm looking and I'm like, okay, no, no, yes, maybe, no, no, no. Oh, okay, here, I'll just grab something because I need to get out of there. So I ate some, uh, a, a little bag of, of Ritz crisps or something like that. I don't know, cracker crisps, salt and vinegar. They was just something to put in my mouth. Um and a, a Starbucks espresso shot thing. <sighs> that was the easiest workout that I've had. <laughs> because I'm like so freaking high on caffeine. I don't, I'm a decaf girl. I, I have anxiety issues. I don't do caffeine because I got enough going on already i got the engine is always running i'm always trying to calm it down and caffeine makes me crazy that's why i'm talking so loud and i'm talking so fast right now and i just i can't help it so that workout was the the easiest workout i've had in a long time and i told my trainer she's like yeah your eyes look kind of kind of glazed i should think she was being nice she probably should say you look crazy girl you need to go, go home and lay down or something left the workout checked my mail uh and here i am i'm here talking to you i just wanted to let you know where i've been give you just a brief update i will have some travel video and photos coming uh for you very soon it's just been like a whirlwind since I got back. Also, I'm planning two other trips. <laughs> I am I'm going on a cruise next month. I'm also going to New Orleans for the first time. I'm going there. I'll be there for four days, three, three and a half days, and then the cruise. And then I'm going to Chicago. So I'm gonna get to hang out with my people. Get to hang out with my with my mom, my stepdad, my sisters, nieces, nephews and a partridge in a pear tree, all in people, and John Boy. So 
that's where I've been and that's what's coming up and I will see you really soon. Oh, I have one more thing coming up. But right before I left for Mexico, uh, my friend Stephanie, and I'll put a link to her channel up on the on the screen, she asked me if I wanted to, to, to do a, a crafters exchange because she makes things, I make things, her whole her channel is about crafting. Uh, I do things in spurts, everything. Like, you know, writing, acting is my profession, so I do that all the time. But writing, um, sometimes, sometimes producing some things, sometimes YouTube videos, sometimes painting, sometimes crafting, sometimes, you know, like I do things in spurts. I'll do it and then go, all right, what's next? <laughs> you know, let me go do this over here. And that's just, I'm not, I'm not very consistent and I've embraced that. It's just, that's just how I'm built and I'm good with it. She said, let's do a crafters exchange and I said, yeah, that would be really cool. Uh, but last week when I got back, it was, things were hectic. And so over the weekend, I spent some time putting together a package for her of things that I, that I hope, I hope she'll like, <laughs> I hope. Uh, I've never done one of these before and uh, if all goes well, maybe I'll we'll do it again with her or or maybe with an, a different craft or maybe with my mom. My mom's crafty too. That's where I get it from. Uh, but she should get her package soon. I should get mine and I'll open that on camera so you can see what she sent me and you can get a real reaction. Like you get my honest reaction. Uh, I'm sure she makes such beautiful things that I'm sure there won't be a moment where I'm like, Oh, you really shouldn't have. <laughs> I'm just talking smack. I should end this video right now. <laughs> I done rant out, as the children say. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye.